we need to talk because you're probably making, if not remaking and repeating, this same one SEO mistake. And it doesn't matter if you're a freelancer, consultant, you work in an agency, or you work in-house. You've probably made this mistake and you're not even aware of it. And I know, as I speak from experience, I have made this mistake time and time again, when I was starting off very fresh, when I was working agency side, to now when I'm working in-house, I continue to make this mistake. And I have to remind myself to go, hang on, maybe this isn't the best recommendation. Maybe I need to reframe things so that I can not keep making this one mistake. So that's enough teasing. Let's get into what this mistake is. And so from my experience anyway, and my observations, the number one mistake that you're making is forgetting that Google is a for-profit company. That's right. Google, the ones who created this amazing search engine where we type anything in these days, even use voice search or even chat GTP or one of those LMMs, we can find an answer within seconds, less than a second in most cases. And I know a lot of you myself included, have lamented at the quality of these results across time. Sometimes, as long as we're ranking, we're going, yes, the results are great. But when we're not ranking, we also go, oh, these results are garbage. Look at these. There's three domains ranking on the same first page of Google. That can't be right. Or we go, oh, this forum is ranking. Or this authority website who is not staying in the lane, but hey, they publish anything and they rank. And yada, 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 right? We've all made these complaints about Google search results. And here's the thing, and this relates to this mistake that we keep making time and time again. We forget that not everything is in Google's best interest. We forget that the organic search results are a feature, if not a byproduct of the true product. And that is, what is this true product? Google is an advertising platform. Remember this, Always, in every single audit you do, in every conversation that you have with a stakeholder, every recommendation you make, remember the following. Always at the back of your head, right? Google is a for-profit company. Okay, great. So I've stated the problem and you go, hey, Daniel, so what's the fix? What is the problem anyway? Well, it comes down to this. Ever since ChatGTP came out, there's been a lot of discourse on content, or rather AI generated content or AI assisted content. Now, I don't really have a horse in this race. I know I work at a company that has its own LMMs, has its own AI tools. And so I'm not in a position to comment on that. But I think we can all safely agree that AI assistance, AI tools, they're here to stay. And when it comes to Google, can they decipher between AI-assisted, AI-generated content versus something that is done from scratch from a human? I have no idea. I'm not one of those people who have that expertise or experience. But remember this, remember what the topic of this video it is. What is that one mistake? We assume that Google is working in its best interest for us as SEOs, for us as users. And that is a big, big no, no, because look at the earnings report, look at Alphabet's earning report, look at their strategic mission and vision. It's not to improve search results. That's a maybe a tactical roadmap they get to their overlying strategy. Their strategy has always been, how do they maximize profit? How do they capture and protect the majority, if not line share of all searches on the web? That always has been their mission. Well, maybe not a decade ago when there were, you know, do no evil, but I digress. The number one mistake that we keep making is forgetting that Google is a for-profit company. And so we make a lot of assumptions of what will work as opposed to what may not work. And so when we think about AI content, I think it's safe to say that it's okay to use it within guardrails. Use it accordingly and Let's be honest, it's going to cost Google a lot of resources, a lot of testing, and a lot of money to figure out between whether something is written purely by a human being or something that has been assisted or generated completely by an LLMM. Can it get there? Probably. Can it get there today? Maybe. I don't have the answer to that. But remember, again, 
It costs a lot of time, testing and money and expertise. All of this costs a lot in terms of every typical resources that you can think of. And Alphabet and Google are not going to hurt their bottom line. They're going to invest in it. They're going to test things out. But by no means should you avoid AI tools or AI content completely because of this conception that AI content is bad because it doesn't have to be. Yes, if you just press the one button and give it a basic prompt, the quality is probably meh at best. And if you really want to provide your audience and Google's users the best possible experience, maybe, just maybe, you should make that content fit for purpose through editing, of course. Hey, you're still here. That tells me that this content is probably not terrible. I'll take that as a win. So can you do me a small, small, small favor? See that like button on your screen? Tap that for me. And that's it. Thank you and continue watching the show. And so coming back to the overall theme and what I want you to take away from this rant of mine is, yes, Google can probably detect a lot of things. A lot of those guest post farms, it's probably already figured out, but maybe it hasn't all of them. And so that's why sometimes I say, every link building tactic has its purpose. Everything works in SEO until it doesn't. And it's for you as an SEO, as a profession, again, whether you're working for yourself, whether you're working for a client, whether you work for a company as an employee, it doesn't really matter. It's your role as an SEO to push those boundaries. It's your role to figure out what works for you, for your given situation, because everyone's situation is different. Every SERP is different. There are millions, if not billions of searches carried out every single day. And I can guarantee you, even though I have no subject matter expertise on this, is that Google is not applying the same stringent checks and balances for every SERP across every geographical region. Because to do so would cost an insane amount of money that they probably do not even have. Or even if they did, they could not justify its cost until they figure it out. And that is the critical element to this conversation. And that is, yes, there are four profit company and there are certain things that are still going to work, even though they say they don't. However, across time, those things that are effective should become less effective because they've got systems in place. They figured out how to make it efficient to run those same processes. And there we go. There you have expenses and revenue, as long as people come back to the platform, as long as they search for stuff every single day, then they are still going to make a lot of ad revenue. And that is something to remember, whether you're consulting for technical SEO, unless, uh, regardless if you're in content or off page SEO, link building, digital PR, it doesn't really matter. Because remember this one thing, and that is, Google's going to do what is in its best financial interest. And to do that, it needs to not only capture users and acquire customers, it's to bring them back. And that's where this balance between good enough to good is important. So you could spend a lot of time and resources in perfecting your content. And we've seen in the past with you know, the HCU, the helpful content update that that has maybe backfired, or maybe it hasn't gotten to where it's supposed to be. But Google's going to keep working on it, and it's going to keep working on it until it's figured out that fine balance between good enough to good so that people continue using Google so that they can extract revenue from advertisers. And that, at the end of the day, is what matters. And so make today the day you stop making this mistake. Stop forgetting that Google is a for-profit company. It has the same hierarchy, the same political issues as any organization, especially an international one that is headquartered in USA, right? Yeah. It has people working for it. They have their own goals. They have their own internal conflicts. And so even though it may seem best practice to do X, it may be best practice to do Y, your role as an SEO is to absorb all this information and synthesize it, test it, and figure out how far do you want to push it? Are there certain things that you know are 
best practice, but you know is going to cost you a lot to implement and to maintain. So maybe you skip some of those things to later on until you can achieve a certain level of scale or buy in. And maybe there are some things that you know are not supposed to work, but from your own testing, you know works. Maybe you can push those boundaries because that really is your competitive advantage. Because if Google were to ever give out a playbook of here are all the things that you must do to meet all these requirements, because this is our ranking rather ranking algorithm, which, you know, probably will never happen, right? Even if they were to do so in some weird multiverse dimension, if we all followed the same thing, then who would it rank? It wouldn't make sense. There's, there's always a competitive advantage and that competitive advantage is you. It's what you have in here. It's how you can critically think about things and not just accept everything at face value. And that really is the beauty of SEO. That is why I love to do it either as an independent consultant in my daytime role at Adobe and also like this when I'm having a discourse with you with the next generation of search professionals. And it extends beyond just SEO because we are probably going to see a decrease in traffic. AI content, SGE, all that stuff is going to slowly take away clicks. People are still going to use search, but that behavior may change. Just as we've been conditioned over the past decade of how to search and filter through the results, click in, click back, and then search for another thing, maybe that is evolving already. Maybe if you've already been in search for 10, 15 years, we're not the right demographic to be using those things. We're not aware of what's really happening in mainstream. But remember this, remember this, right? Google is a for-profit company and every decision it makes, and it is like big, right? But ultimately it comes down to one thing. How do we make more money? Or rather, because the flip side of that is how do you make more money? It's by spending less. And if you were to implement everything that would take away all the PBNs, take away all those crappy guest post farms, all those scammy tactics that still exist in local search that don't work, right? FYI, you know, st stack ranking that shit, that does not work, FYI. Like all this stuff, they could probably implement it, but it would cost them too much time, too much resources. And so it's always on the back burner or in the backlog, as some of you may know. And so that really is a takeaway. Figure out what works for you, stay connected, have healthy discourse with one another, and then always figure out what works for you. Because trust me, Google is doing that themselves. All right, folks, you've reached the very end. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Daniel K. Chung. And before you go, don't forget to watch this or this. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the show, and I'll see you in the next post.